Hi, this is the seventh and last day of the course. Before we start explaining the rest of the lesson files, let's see what you had to do yesterday. Yesterday, you had a task to implement a paginator service. A paginator is an object that will handle pagination queries. It means the queries that are limited by account and offset, so you don't return the whole database and only a slice of it. It's useful for performance reasons and displaying the right content to the client. Let's see an example implementation. Basically, I want to minimize the changes to my API interfaces. So I have this issue controller and a list. This is the method that I want to pass those parameters. I have to pass those options. First, I have to pass them. Those list options are limit and offset, or we can use a library to map it. Those options that we are going to use for the DB query. Everything else stays the same. I only have to pass those parameters here. Instead of returning the list of issues, I return a list response, which is a wrapper on top of this. I want to have the data. Then I want to have additional properties here, like page, per page, pages, total, and links. Those are going to be JSON serialized. The client can use them on demand to get information about the pagination. So now, because we want to have separation of concerns, we want to have different paginator service here. That will do the same thing here as this services. The issue controller won't be an instance of this, but an instance of the issue paginator that will implement all those relevant methods. Although some methods are not useful, at some point we want to separate the retrieving the querying methods from the modifying methods like create, delete, that do effects. For now let's simplify this. We want to have this to do the same thing. The paginator will handle the logic for the pagination. You want to pass it to the service layer and then to the repository layer. For now let's simplify this. Let's implement this base. We want to have the same thing here. The layout is that the issue controller will call the pagination service. The pagination will handle the logic for pagination. Then we pass to the service layer and the repository layer. In the repository layer we want to pass the options and return back the response. This is where you can create the SQL query and return back the response. As you can see it's straightforward. You don't have to do anything crazy, you just need to wrap the services on top of this and modify the options and responses. This is also similar to the GitHub client that we wrapped some list options. This captures the state of the pagination, so it won't be difficult to do in an hour. I hope you learned a lot from this example.